What's going on YouTube? OCD for EDC here. And what I got for your face balls today, this is just going to be a real quick little video. We're actually going to pull this shaman apart. And the reason I'm doing this is because it came to my attention uh, through one of my viewers who apparently ordered this thing through Knife Center that they sent out an email saying that they had not been truthful on what the handle material was so they say that it was it came out that these were rosewood scales and then <clears throat> they sent out a, a uh, email saying that they wanted to be transparent and apparently these are not fully rosewood scales and so they wanted to give people the opportunity to back out if they you know thought they were getting true like solid rosewood scales uh, so anyway so we can see here uh, construction, standard shaman construction, although they did polish the detent track there, I noticed right away. So that's interesting. I don't know that I've seen that on other shamans, but uh, you know, standard phosphor bronze washer construction, everything else is pretty straightforward. I'm not gonna pull this liner out. We're just gonna look at that scale since it's already all loose, but you can see looks uh looks about like what i expected all right so let's pull this liner out of here um right away i can tell you that the liner is pocketed extremely nice man that thing looks yeah it's it's really really well done that thing just fits in there and it is the height is absolutely perfect when you uh hold that down yeah that's that's done really really well so hmm, that's nice nice to see and then of course you know the blade stop pin goes through the liners and kind of it doesn't protrude out of the scales but it sticks in into the scales which is kind of cool I, I dig it yeah there's no there's no hardware holding this guy and yet this uh this liner is being a bit of a pain in the butt to get out of there just because I mean it's so well fitted into that scale Ooh. there goes the stop pin there we go all right so there's your shaman scale and here it, or I'm shaman scale shaman liner and you can see a lot of weight relieving going on in the liners. Uh, however, not a whole lot of weight relieving going on with that backspacer. That's a whole nother deal. Um, looks like they did use some Loctite. Screws weren't terrible to get out, but a little tight. Okay. So, there you go. That's the, the wood grain. And then on the inside, you can see there a little oil from the pivot, which I'm sure that's just going to be that way. It really looks like, man, it really looks just like solid wood, honestly. I mean, to me, it almost looks like this was one piece of wood here. And then they, this, this actual, you know, this portion, the rim, if you will, it almost... Yeah, I guess not. I mean, yeah, it really just looks like one piece of wood <clears throat> that they machined the back out of, and I'm sure that's what it is. But so anyway, for those that don't know, I'm just going to hold this here, and I'm just going to read really quick what um, uh, what uh, Knife Center sent to people because I got a copy of this email. It says, It has come to our attention that the exclusive Spyderco Shaman that you had ordered from us was incorrectly listed as having rosewood handle material. The handle scales are actually composed of rosewood diamond wood. Diamond wood is a laminate material composed of thin layers of American birch stabilized with phenolic resins. This material is optimal for knife handles in that it retains its beauty of the wood, but is incredibly stable and will not warp or absorb moisture. Moisture. <laughs> I need to speak more, huh? Uh, anyway, we understand that the that this is not solid rosewood and do not want to sell uh, sell it to you under false pretenses and then it says it goes on to say we apologize for the confusion and blah 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 and gives you the option to back out of the order 
But I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, you know, by all intents and purposes, this is Rosewood. You know, it it the you know, is it actually just straight up rosewood? Apparently not. Um, but I'll I'll tell you, looking at it, looking at the grain structure, this does not feel like a synthetic material to me. It looks very, very much like and feels just like a, a, a standard wood product. Um, yeah, it, it does not have the appearance or the feel or the texture of something, you know, some type of manufactured wood product. Uh, so anyway, I just wanted to show this off um, and show the inside of these scales, which really honestly looks better than I expected them to. As soon as I saw the email, I thought, oh, good Lord, this thing's going to be just full of resin or something on the backside. And it's not at all. It's actually very well done and looks very, very nice. So there you go, guys. Hopefully this was interesting to you. <clears throat> um, I'm actually going to put this together off camera. I'm going to clean it up a bit, um, get it all ready to go, uh, because this thing will be moving on down the road. Uh, but hopefully you guys were interested in this video. Um, if you're ever interested in any of the knives on my channel, uh, hit me up. My email's in the in the uh, description below. And yeah, I buy, sell, trade all the time. Check out the links. I got a bunch of Amazon affiliate links, and those help support my channel. And uh, you know, like, subscribe, whatever. Uh, but most of all, leave comments because I enjoy having uh, conversations with you guys. And even if you don't uh, necessarily agree with me. Uh, that's totally fine. Uh, you know, we can have a good debate and a good conversation and I thoroughly enjoy it. So until next time, guys, have a good one. We'll talk to you later.